keen are you, confident that Roma can cope with another flood? I, I am, and uh, as uh, you know, uh, at the moment the flood peak is uh, due to hit there sometime after about 10 o'clock today, and I think we're at about 8.1 metres now, the projected uh, flood height. We have extra police on standby. In fact, um, after discussions with the Acting Premier this morning, uh, we've arranged for one of our aircraft to be on standby. We have 10 uh, police all ready to go if we need extra police out there. But as you know, Rome is not cut off from the west, so we can bring police in by road as well from Charleville. Um, the LBMG, the Local Disaster Management Group, has met twice this morning and is due to meet later on this morning to deal with the, the flood crisis as it unfolds. What about, what's the logistics of the flood crisis? Are people going to be evacuated out there? The evacuation centre has already been stood up, as I understand it, at the local RSL, so it's ready to go should people need to leave their homes. It's about 280 homes that uh, are in the, the high-risk zone out there, but that can mean from uh, inundation level, so above floorboards, right down to just water in the uh, water in the yards. But there's been no evacuation. Order. No, but people have been told about the uh, the impending uh, danger to them, to their the risk to them. There has been an emergency alert go out this morning by SMS and phone message to the affected areas of uh, of Roma, and we're asking people to take action themselves if they feel that they're at risk. They can move to either friends' homes in the in the higher areas of town, or now with the evacuation centre open they can actually go to the RSL. Uh, I, I spoke, and I just should say, I spoke with Mayor Rob Luffman, uh, the Mayor of Roma, this morning. He's a very good Mayor. He handled the uh, disasters earlier this year very, very competently, very, very well. He indicated to me there that all is in hand. I assured him uh, that the state is there prepared to do whatever is required. The, the acting commissioner has indicated uh, the resources that we've got there already, uh, but uh, the Mayor has indicated to us that at this point in time, uh, he is very confident about their ability to respond to these matters, uh, but uh, and he is a very good mayor at dealing with these issues as well. Are we concerned that this water could, you know, travel further down any other town? Um, certainly, uh, the certainly the uh, the water system Bungle Creek flows further down uh, into the uh, into the area of Surratt's and Joy. But we're hoping that the uh, with the lack of rain, and we don't believe there'll be any further rain at this stage. That's the uh, the current news from the Weather Bureau. We're hoping that the the flood will dissipate. Uh, before it reaches any other major centre. It's tough that he's spoken to get through it again. <laughs> it has just been an amazing few months, hasn't it? And we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, um, you know, at any time, and again, this proves at any time yeah. we can be faced with these crises. But with our planning and, and with the support of all levels of government, uh, I think that we're in a very strong position to respond uh, appropriately to these uh, to these threats. You know, I, I, you know, strike a light. This is April, and uh, you know, out of the wet season, and you know, we've got another flood, and. Uh, so, uh, you know, as the Premier says, Queenslanders do it tough.